Yo, what's going on YouTube? Uh, well, it's official. Mauricio, Suleiman, um, I don't know what you call him, CEO or chairman of the WBC World Boxing Council, the non-for-profit, non-for-profit uh, agency that's uh, based out of Mexico. You know, boxing agency uh, based out of uh, Mexico. Or you said organization, either or. Um, yeah, man, they canceled the fight, man, with uh, Deontay Wilder and Alexander Shasha Povetkin. And good, you know, I guess the the writing was on the wall, you know, because uh, <laughs> I guess everybody knew uh, Deontay uh, Wilder's uh, flight, uh, you know, plans or, or schedule. Uh, to go to Russia, which is kind of scary, man. You guys, you need security or something like that when they you know everybody's in the know, or like when you're leaving out and everything like that. Um, I don't think they should be sharing all the information. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what what flight they taking? It looked look like uh, somebody had made a comment on Carcino for a life's uh, you know video talking about uh, the drug test and how you know Alexander Povetkin had passed. Like three previous tests, I think it was like the maybe like the seventh and the ninth and whatever like that. And the other test he failed was like the um, was like the fourth one was uh, the twenty seventh, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, it's like this person knew the um, I forgot her name, um, <laughs> but she had uh, posted something and said that um, yeah, he was supposed to the. The flight from England is supposed to leave at 8 to go to Russia. And I'm like, how she know all that? You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking to myself. I was like, man, maybe you saw some article I didn't see. Or, um, you know, has uh, press credentials and able to get, get, you know, get to, you know, talk with Wilder or something. Or somebody on the team or something like that. Or maybe just some uh, Wilder had tweeted out or something. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, if I was him, I wouldn't be uh, volunteering all the information because you got to be safe, man. There's a lot of stuff going on around us and stuff like that in the world, you know. But um, anyway, now I'm, I'm just ranting on a little bit, man. Let me get back to my point. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, I and you know, I I, I kind of think that is this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Um, it's judicial, you know. It's you know, it's it's. It's justice being served. Uh, the WBC has to go by their, you know, their, their policies and stuff like that. They got this VADA, you know, um, uh, anti-doping uh, agency, you know, doing the test. You pop, you know, you pop hot. Now, this, now, some people think it's uh, some of these, you, you got to think about it. Boxing, man. It's um, it's a, little, it's a little bit all over the map, man. It's a little bit all over the map, and you know, some people say this ain't fair, that's not fair. We should just go ahead and do the fight and stuff like that. Um, I think this uh, this doctor named Mar Margaret, or whatever like that. The, uh, I guess, I guess, I guess she's the head of uh, Vada. She says they don't have anything. Um. You know, within their policy stating that they 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 able to make the final decision whether the fight goes on or not. But um, I think we have to remember that you know you got different sanctioning bodies, you got different boxing commissions. You know, state to state they got different commissions. So you got all these organizations and all these these bodies, you know, governing bodies that are loosely affiliated. And everybody's got their own rules, you know, a la uh, Floyd Mayweather and this whole lighter cane thing he's putting in his knuckles, supposedly. But I guess it's true, but whatever. In in, in Vegas, um, you know, it's legal. You get what I'm saying? So in Vegas is legal. Outside of Vegas, as far as using lighter cane for whatever reason, whether it's uh, for your knuckles or... Uh, maybe you need to get numb because you're getting stitches and not you know, before the fight. It doesn't matter. You, you can't. It's it's not legal. So, um, but then again, you know the uh, sanctioning bodies. I guess it, 
it was all right with them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it shows up in your blood, lidocaine, whatever like that. But you know it's a numbing agent. I know that for sure. Um, but anyway, back to my point. You know, not not everything is going to be fair. You know what I'm saying? Not everything is going to be fair. Um, you know, I think it's a guy named... What was that Francisco Vargas or something like that? Supposed been fighting this uh, Orlando Salido. I know Orlando Salido, but I don't know this Vargas guy. But um, he he, I guess he had a valid excuse. Um, it turns out it seemed it seemed like with the WBC, this is what happened. Orlando Salido still wanted to fight. You know. Vargas was pretty much in the same situation that um, that Pavek is in now. Is that he passed a couple of tests, but one test came back, you know, negative. You know, so he passed. He he was clean. You know what I'm saying? He was clean, but just like uh, Alexander Pavekin, it turned out that you know one of the tests came back high. It's like, well, this is like like, and they trying to get some kind of explanation. You got to come up with some explanation. Because, especially the WBC, because they getting paid. You know what I'm saying? They getting paid for sanctioning these championship fights. They want as many championship fights as possible. You know what I'm saying? That's where the big money's at. You know, these championship fights. Same thing with the uh, the Wilder fight. You know, they they they. You know, sure they want to be. You know, stick to their rules and everything like that. But at the same time, you know, they saying like, hey, hey you know, um, you know, I guess they ask. Orlando Salido's like, hey, do you want to continue? Do you want to fight this guy, or don't you want to fight this guy, or, you know, what's going on? There's got to be some kind of explanation because we don't want to just go ahead and penalize you guys because we talk about money at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you got to weigh it out. It's like a fifty-fifty. And then, um, so anyway, uh, it turns out with Vargas, it turns out with uh, Vargas and Orlando Salido, that uh, Orlando Salido wanted to continue to fight. Vargas came up with a valid excuse with the uh, clembuterol or whatever like that. The stuff that they're using with these animals and stuff like that to beef them all up or whatever. So um, in Mexico and probably all and everywhere else in the world, okay? Uh, and, you know, I made a video about that saying like they, they you know, the stuff they're doing with their uh, food is, is crazy and <laughs> stuff like that with these hormones and trying to make these animals bigger and stuff. But, um... You know, in the not only that, not, not only the the animals, but the feed that they're giving the animals to is ma genetically manipulated. Hell, they're trying to make an egg, man. They, they they're working on making an artificial egg. Can you believe that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's bad enough you get like eggs in a carton of you know boiled eggs in a in a bag or, or powdered eggs and stuff like that. They're trying to like genetically make up an egg. But anyway, long story short, Vargas. Um, stated his claim, and what ended up happening was, um, it was like, okay, your, your story sounds believable with the Kimbruterol, if I'm saying that right, um, and that you went home, you ate some of your mom's stew, and the beef was tainted, or whatever like that. But from here on out, you can't fail any more drug tests. And he was like, cool, you know, but you got to, you know, you know, you got to be tested more. And, you know, until the, the day of the fight or whatnot, you know, up to the day of the fight. And if you don't test uh, positive or anything like that, we can just go ahead with the fight as planned. And Orlando Salida was cool with that. Now, could they have done that with, um, you know, Alexander Pavekin? Maybe, maybe they they could have done that, but um, it was stated that both sides made pleas to um, um, the WBC. WBC, her, you know, you know, certain stories or certain opinions or certain statements from both uh, teams. You know, Deontay Wilder's team, Alexander Pavekin's team, or whatnot. And so here you have it. The flight, the the fight is postponed. So, um, yeah, you know what? Hey, you know, you go in hostile territories. 
it's, it, it's the reason why people stay home, man. It's the reason why people stay home. Even if it is probably a, a either safer or more dangerous than a, a, other places, it's the reason why people stay home. Some some people some places are just so hostile that you gotta you just got it's just best that you leave. Period. You know, some places like maybe fifty fifty, but you know, everybody knows you. You know what I'm saying? And then in some cases, you're celebrated. You know, you go you go where you're celebrated. You go you go where you get all the support and stuff like that. You go where you get favor. And when you're an outsider and nobody knows you, nobody's gonna vouch vouch for you. You know, so. With the uh, Alexander Povetkin supporters or whatnot, whether you're from Russia or not, or maybe he just sort of looks like you and you like him a lot, or whatever the case may be, you know, him being in his hometown is good for him. And it's only good for him because that's where he gets all the support. I mean, this is a dude, this dude is a gold medalist in Russia. You know, people don't understand that, that these, these athletes are... Uh, <laughs> With these Olympic games and whatnot, and how they are formed, these athletes are seen as like as uh, like political statements. You know, they're warriors. You know, so when you have two teams from two different countries on a f- like football field or the basketball court, that's seen as a battlefield. You know, that's not just uh, it's, you know they're not just playing a child's game here. That's that team winning is like a statement. It's like Mexico versus U.S. That's a that's like a statement that Mexico wins. You know, it's like oh we're we're better at something. You know, we at least we're better at soccer than you. You know what I'm saying? That's like a one up. You know, on on that other other country. It might not seem that way, but that's what it is. You know, it's a one up, and that's why they have these games. Instead, instead of them going to war, it's like well let's let's let, let's see who has the best. You know, soccer team. You know. So it's it's um you know what I'm saying it's like a uh, you can sort of say it's like an even playing field, even though I think soccer is more popular in Mexico than basketball or anything like that. But you know they get the um you know they get to see who's like oh I'm I'm better than you you know what I'm saying man. Then actually saying you know well <laughs> let's go to war then you know nobody dies on the soccer field. Uh, for for the most part, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, man. And so, you, you think about it in Russia, they're probably making all kind of excuses for him. Uh, there's, there's probably all kind of stories saying, like, Waller didn't really want the fight or something like that. You know, this they probably believe in everything that's coming out of Alexander Povetkin's mouth because, he, I mean, he's for one, he's a gold medal winner. Um. Uh, you know, kudos to him because he'll probably get the same praise as he um, as he would over here. But you know, then again, then again, you have Andre Ward. Um, he he's a gold medal winner too. He he didn't get too much praise, but hey, hey he he should probably get a marketing team or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think it's all about the um the color of his hue. Maybe maybe just get a good marketing team or something. I mean, Sugar Ray Leonard and I mean, a few other guys, even though they weren't like, at least they were like, at least better well known. I mean, Jesus, they got a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> at least they were able to market themselves or something like that and get on Leno and stuff. So, but anyway, man, or Carson, yeah, Carson. That's what, I think that's what been, uh, Sugar Ray Leno probably been on Carson or something. Anyway, moving along, man. Um, but for, for Wilder, if he goes over there, he 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 doesn't, he doesn't have any support. You know, he's going in somebody's backyard, like I mentioned with Michael Jordan. That whole Utah game, it was suspected that he was like there was food poisoning or something like that. All of a sudden, he comes up sick. You know, and so I mean, who 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 does Wilder have to trust over there? Now if, he, now, if he goes to Alabama, um, even though there's probably some, you know, some some uh, some tensions over there, you know, in Alabama, but he's he's from Alabama, you know, Alabama, they're gonna think it was different. He's gonna like, oh, he's one of he's one of us. You get what I'm saying? He's an American. He's one of us. He's bringing it to the state. 
you know, a lot of people would be more appreciative of of uh, of him being a champion. You get what I'm saying? Like he's one of he's one of our guys, despite what they feel about him. He's he's like family. You get what I'm saying? So it'd be better to go ahead and have that fight in Alabama. And I I think that's what they should do. Uh, maybe reschedule the fight for Alabama. Um, while it has been very busy in the past year, man, I didn't know he he defended his belt three times. Um, this would have been his fourth title defense. He's a very active heavyweight, so I I really think he's I, I really think he should be in England fighting under the Anthony Joshua car. I mentioned that in another video. Um, it's a month away. He's already been training. It looks like he was already in England. So I, I really think that's where he should be right now. I really do. I really think that's where he should be right now. I, I think he ought to go ahead and get up on a, either that or get up on the David Hay car, which I doubt is going to happen um, with a quick turnaround. But I think he's headed back home. So I think that would be kind of much for him to go back home and come back to England and try to get a fight with somebody uh, in England that will give him any kind of credibility because you know people are going to take shots. So I think him, you know, whoever, Al Heyman or whoever, Steven Espinosa, or whatever like that, Showtime or something like that, which should try to work out something with Eddie Hearn. He just signed a, con a contract with uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, they got they got Deontay Wilder on board, so I think it'd be very good uh, for them. Like I think it's supposed to be June twenty fifth, June twenty fifth, two thousand sixteen. Uh, Anthony Joshua is facing Dominic Brazil. Um, Deontay Wilder can face hell, hell. He can face Dillian White. His shoulder's supposed to be good, right? <laughs> Even though Dillian White just got knocked out not too long ago. Um, he can face Dillian White or um, David Price or something like that. I, I know these guys may be coming off losses, but losses. But at the same time, he's just trying to. It's like a, it'll be like a showcase. It'll be like a treat, man. A lot of people want to see Deontay Wilder in England any darn way. You know what I'm saying? They, they'll be just happy just to see him. Yeah, I mean live. You get what I'm saying? So it's not like they're gonna uh uh front on them, you know what I'm saying, as far as the quality of the opponents, I, 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 I would think they would be able to get that what they're trying to do is cross-promote for a potential Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder fight down the road, reschedule the Pavekin fight. Now, he might be suspended. How long? I don't know. But Deontay Wilder has to stay busy. Does Pavekin keep his mandatory spot? I don't know. Uh, do a poir, do we want to see that again? Maybe, but then again, a lot of people are taking a dump on do a poir, Johan do a poir, or do hoppers, or we want to call his name, excuse me, until he knocked out Robert Hellenius. Then everybody's like, oh, okay, now, nah, oh, okay, that, oh, that guy, oh, 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 he's actually good. He's like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I knew he was probably good anyway. He was highly ranked, and dude was coming from Europe. Uh, I think he had a Previous some kind of European belt, but anyway, uh, he's I think he's the WBC silver uh, heavyweight you know title holder. I don't know what I don't know where that puts you on the uh, WBC rankings. I checked that out, and it either puts you at number one or in the top five or something like that. Having that WBC uh, silver belt, yeah, that's what it was the silver belt. So I don't know, is that the interim belt or whatnot? So I got to check in more on that, this, the whole silver belt thing. But it, it gets you highly ranked. At least hi, highly ranked enough with uh, Duopois is also highly ranked in the IBF, okay? And he doesn't have any, uh, he doesn't have an IBF, any type of IBF, intercontinental, pan-American, uh, Southeast Asian, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> belt, you know what I'm saying? So... But uh, anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. You know, I kind of ran it on a little bit, you know. But I just thought I'd just put that out there, man. It's a good topic for discussion, man. You know, everybody was looking forward to this fight. Now all we can talk about what, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, which is um, you can kind of say it's kind of like a waste of time. But we're fans, so this is what we're into. 
and whatnot. And um, oh yeah, man, for the uh, new subscribers, man, uh, thank you for su subscribing to the channel, and whatnot. Um, if I have any information, man, I'll usually put it down in the link in the description below. Uh, let let hey, if you disagree, man, let me know, man. It's cool. Just you know, just come with some knowledge or something like that. With agree to disagree, you know, I'm cool with that. You don't have to agree with everything I say. Um, I, I don't be doing that like blocking people because they have a, their own opinion. I, I remember one channel that did that, and I'm like, dang, you was like, are you really sensitive? I just disagree with you on one thing, and you blocked me. I'm like, man, but but that dude was uh. Excuse me. That dude was, uh, and, you know, being himself, I guess. So, all right, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.